Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Rock of ages, we thank you, Almighty King of Glory. Father, we bless you for your love for us. We thank you for this opportunity once again. Father, we gather here before thee. Lord, expecting the blessing you're going to rain upon us once again. We are here before thee, Lord. Expecting how you're going to deal with our enemies. Father, we are here before thee. To see the goodness and the blessing you're going to put upon our life this day. We're praying, O oh Lord, that as we listen to you and as we pray together, you will lead us through the way to a place of destiny in the name of Jesus. Every enemy shall be taken away from our ways in the name of Jesus. And at the end, in our life, your name shall be glory in the name, glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name, I will pray. Amen. Praise the, the Lord Jesus. Uh, we want to thank God once again for another opportunity. Uh, we were able to finish the series we were running uh, last week. By the grace of God, we are shifting to another one as the Spirit of God is leading us. Today, by His grace, we're going to touch another topic which says, Let my enemies stumble and perish or fall. My enemies shall stumble and they shall fall. I'm going to take us to a place in the Bible. Uh, and after this one, I will tell us who are our enemies. Who are our enemies? And why do we refer to them as enemies? What are the underworks of these people before we refer to refer to them as a, as our enemies? Who sent them to our life before we recognize them or identify them as enemies? I want to tell us today that there are people who are working for Satan. They're really busy working for, for Satan against the well-being of human here on earth. We will go together to the book of Psalm number 58. Then we will read from verse 1, I will run it through to verse 5. The Bible said, Do ye in this speak righteousness, O congregation? It said, Do ye judge uprightly, O ye son of man? Verse 2. It said, Ye in heart ye walk wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands and the earth. The wicked are strangled from the, from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Verse 4, he said they are, they are poison. It's like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth our air. Verse 5, he said, which will not hearken to the voice of the sh of the shamans, shamming never so wisely. And in hand, so on the door, need to talk and you join you. And in hand, she died, but you share to talk and your meaning. Nito <laughs> Mm. You, you, you can see the picture of these wicked souls looking at the book of Revelation if you move to Revelation chapter 12 and we read just advance the verse 10 the Bible says and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength 
and the kingdom of our God and the power of his, of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. The way if you know, or it is a say, Kewa, most of all, Rara Leon, we pay, Niba Yinni, Balade, at Yang Barati, Joba, Longwa, at your Lati Christie, Nitoria TK, or Lufisu, and Wara, Arapuni, Wajade, Tion, Fumosu, Niwa, Joba, Longwa, Lawson, at Timur. We have an accuser. Who is always before the Lord God accusing us day and night? A, a, a wicked being. Who is always the same evils and bad things about us before a girl? And the Bible made us to understand that every day and night is always there reporting us negatively before the Lord. Saying every evil thing about us every day. I want us to understand this fact that there are wicked souls here in our planet Earth. now and at the time of our ancestors so also in the spiritual world those, the, uh, whose principal duty it is to steal, is to kill, and is to destroy. Through their devilish means and diabolic ways. So they came into the life of people to destroy the good thing God has given them. If they don't have power to attack the victim. They, they, they have a way of consulting people who are stronger than them you know, so that they can achieve their purpose. <coughs> These people we call accuser or enemies of our life or our soul. These people I'm referring to as our enemies. They always have much joy in the sorrow of others. It, when the joy of man is their own sorrow. They work against one promotions and lifting. Where there is when that is where there is there is promotion at all. Their song against man, their song is always demotion and shame. The tear of the victim is their own basis of laughter. <coughs> the, the tear of the, of the, the sorrow and the tear of the victim it is their own base of joy. You see, the death of the victim is the base of their own celebration. As the devil empowered them for this devilish and satanic, you know, cause of services, they are always committed into the service of destruction. Who, who are the people I'm talking about? Do not forget that we are running the topic. Who is, I mean, our enemies shall fall and die. I mean. Then I want to say with this particular enemy you're talking about. I told us that the joy of others is their own soul. The tear, the tear of others is their own base of a laughter. The death of the victim, the death of the victim is their own base of a no celebration. Who is these people we're talking about? I subtitle to this one that as who is my enemy or your enemy. Your enemy is that neighbor. Who will never see any good thing in what you have done. They will never see any good thing in what you do in life. Everything you do, nothing is good as far as they are concerned in it. Your enemy. 
is that boss that wicked boss is that wicked general manager that wicked director I see that as your that wicked permanent secretary that wicked chairman in the commission at your place of work who never wish you well your entitlements is withheld by him or diverted to his own purse or package. You are the one who will be working in that place assiduously, but when the time comes for you to receive something, you know, there will be lots of your entitlement. The boss, the wicked boss, we, we told it and put in his pocket. Your promotion is always an added to him or her. When he see you doing good things, then the, 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 the fever began to, you know, to surface in his life. Your enemy is that wicked employer. Who oh, eh, eh, we all, always make life tough for you? The employer who we always make life difficult for you. He always wants you to be there serving without any good thing. Your salary. Uh, and your benefits uh, are, are not given to you as I went you. What belongs to you, your own benefits, will not be, be, be given to you. They, they make sure that they suffer you before what belongs to you is given to you. What to you where you live? So when the issue of little or, or, or promotion comes, they work against you. They work against you. Such is your enemy. I see ask this question that who is your enemy? I say your enemy is a denier of you know one share in the valuable thing. What belongs to you when they are sharing good thing? And what belongs to your own portion? It is your enemy who will say no. This one will not get to you. I call him a generator of affliction. The fountain or the generator of affliction and depression. They are in charge of your problem. They are in charge of your trouble. Who is your enemy? I call your enemy your destiny changer. Or your destiny exchanger. They change and exchange. They turn, you know, and hero to a zero. A great and a big man is being brought down. We read it the other time. We said it the other time. That uh, from the book of, uh, you know, that uh, book of uh, uh, Psalm 62, verse 4. When he told us that, uh, you know, the only consort, they said the only consort to cast him down from his excellency. That is the work of an enemy. They, 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 yeah, they, they bring, you know, the honorable people from their places of excellency. From hero to zero, from being someone to nobody. Who is this your enemy? Your enemy. I call your enemy a deceitful intimate in the vineyard of God. A deceitful, a Even right in the vineyard of God. We read something from the book of uh, Psalm 55. Psalm 55. I, I, I want to read to you from verse 12. He said, For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then 
I could have borne it, neither was it that hated me, and that did magnify himself against me. He said, Then I will have hid myself from him. Verse 13. He said, But it was thou, a man, my equal, my guide, and my acquaintance. Verse 14. He said, We took sweet counsel together and walked into the house of God in company. Verse that 10. is verse 14. He said, We took sweet counsel together and we walked unto the house of God in company. Last year, I gave you last week, Kenila. You will realize, you know, from where we have just read that these people, you know, is also in the church of God like a Christian. It says sweet counsel we took together to the house of God. See now walking on the street discussing about Bible, you know, holding Bible, you believe that they are children of God. One is a child of God, the other one is an enemy. So that is this, I call him a deceitful intimate. In the vineyard of God. There are pastors to pastors in the house of God. You see, there are evangelists to evangelists in the house of God. We see pastors to prophet and prophet to prophet in the house of God. You see, members of the church to one another. They are deceitful intimate in the vineyard of God. I thought I should give you one more before we close it for now. Who is our enemy? I call him a waster of your sweat for no reap or for no gain. In Yoruba, in Nigeria, we call them Adomo Showo. My German Jerry. They will allow you to labor, they will allow you to sweat, but they will not allow you to make gain. Brethren in the house, I would love to stop here for today. God's prayer alive and keep us till next week by His grace. I will begin from where I'm stopping now. So may the Lord God help us in the name of Jesus. So we'll continue by the grace of God next week if Jesus is tarry. You know those that are your enemies now. They want you to be here without achieving anything in life. When life is not giving you the rosy part of it, then they are always happy. When you are shedding tears, when you are in sorrow, then they are very happy. They are deceitful members of your church. They move so close to you, you think they are children of God. Do not forget that the Bible says that when they bless from their mouth, within them they are cursing. That's your enemy. I want you to bow your heads now. Why can't you pray to the Lord God? Father, deliver me from these enemies. You know them better than myself, oh Lord. How can somebody who we go to the church of God as member of church, People will discuss about the Bible study, about prayer meeting, about the church services, about, uh, you know, uh, things, services in the church together. Also, talk to become an enemy. enemy. Who, who can somebody who is blessing someone be an enemy to him or her? How can the parent be an enemy to his, to his children? How can the wife be an enemy to the husband? How can the husband be an enemy to the wife? How can the government be enemies to
to the subject. I want to, you to pray very well. Lord, deliver me from all these enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver me, oh Lord, from these so called enemies. You know them better than I do, oh Lord. You see, even to the uttermost part of the spiritual, I ask not God of Israel, deliver me from my enemies, oh Lord. Deliver me from my enemies, oh Lord. I want you to pray very well in the name of Jesus. The Lord God answers prayers and he, he knows them. Even those you don't know, people you are rapping with today, people that are very close to you today, people who know much about your secrets, you know the man you call your father, the one you call your mother, that one you call your parents, the one you call a, an intimate friend, that one you refer to as your pastor in the church of God, might be your enemy. Pray to the Lord God. Father, deliver me from all my enemies today. Shall we just pray in the name of Jesus? Almighty Father, we ask today, Lord Jesus, you know these people, Heavenly Father. Lord, you know them. Even we don't know them, but I know you know them. Lord, we ask Father that you deliver, you deliver us from them, hold on. In the name of Jesus, deliver me from my enemies. Deliver me from my enemies. Daddy, deliver me from my enemies. Enemy in the church, deliver me from them. Enemy, look at Father in, in my compound, deliver me from them. My neighbors around me, who are my enemies, deliver me from them. Enemies at the place of war, deliver me from them. Father, Lord Jesus, I ask, deliver me from them, Lord. Deliver me from them, Lord. Those people who are working against my promotion at my place of war, Father, deliver me from them. Those who are blessing with their man, but within them, they are causing me. Lord, I ask that you deliver me from them. Wicked government, Lord, deliver me from them. Those that I voted into power, but later, care less about my well-being. People are rejoicing at my misfortune. Lord, I ask Heavenly Father that you deliver me from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. The title of this one says, <coughs> My enemy shall stumble and fall. Finally, you're going to pray the prayer. We care less who such may be. We care less who such may be. Let such, oh God, fall today. Let such stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. Let them fall and never rise again. Shall we pray the prayer in the name of Jesus? Let my enemies stumble and fall, oh God. Cause my enemies to stumble. Cause my enemies to stumble. <coughs> Cause my enemy to fall and never rise again in the name of Jesus Christ. Those are that are planted down, down there for me. People who want to bring me down from my place of excellence. People who are expecting my premature death. Lord, I have the Father to cause them to stumble. You cause them, Lord, Father, to fall. Those that are making journey to you know for my downfall. I ask Lord that to bring them down. Let them stumble. Let them fall. 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 The enemy of my joy. Enemy of my celebration. Enemy of my laughter. Enemy of my lifting. Enemy of my well-being. Enemy of my promotion. Enemy of my advancement. Enemy of my greatness. Enemy of my lifting. Father, I pray, O Lord, you cause them to stumble and fall and never to rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. My life will never be patterned according to the program of my enemies. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you. But I guess I'm going to continue from there next week if Jesus tells Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you for this season. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this broadcast. I want to thank you for as many that have listened to this one outside here. Thank you, Father, because immediately you are started working in the line. Their enemies are already in trouble. Enemy of destiny. Enemy of glory. Enemy of life beauty. Enemy of lifting. Enemy of promotion. Enemy of advancement. Enemy of greatness. Lord, I know you have started working against them, hold on. As you go to bed, everyone listening to my voice out of the cage of their enemies. The known and the unknown cage of the wicked one. The known and the unknown, you know, sl I mean, a, a, a slavery of the, of the wicked ones over their life. Father, Lord God of Israel, I pray today in your presence that to deliver as many that are in the cage of one enemy or the other to them in the name of Jesus Christ. You made us out of the cage of our enemy. Release us out of the cage of our enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that our enemies will not succeed over our life in Jesus name. They will not kill us prematurely in Jesus name. They will not waste us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be well with us. I pray that today mark the beginning of the evils in the life of our enemies in Jesus' name. Today mark the beginning of calamity in their life. Today mark the beginning of their destruction in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help us out. We will not be wasted. Our enemies will not waste us. Our enemies will not kill us. Our enemies will not strand us on this fall. We shall move forward in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because our fans are praying. And someone is there who is sick. There's some particular ill you have. One trouble, one problem. You have been depressed. I pray for your liberty and for your freedom today. Every power working against your well-being. Every spirit working against your sound health. I capture them by the word of the Most High God. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will destroy them for you to gain your sound health in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because you have done it, O Lord. In Jesus' unfailing name, I will pray. May the Lord God pray for everyone listening to us today. May God pray for our ministry as well. Everything we lay hands on shall uh, by the grace of God, my, my number, the number you can use to contact with is on the screen. Uh, Provincial, you have any question to ask or if you want us to pray with you, you, you can simply contact us with that number. We're going to join you in prayer. I know the Lord God will bless you. Today we meet again next week. May God bless you. Bye.